Advice to an undergraduate who's considering applying to a PhD program in history. Well, um, you should really like history. Uh, it's going to take up a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on what one wants to do. Um, there's many uses of it for a PhD in history. Um, and, and one thing I'll say is I think it's almost always a really positive experience that you get to read great books and talk about interesting subjects and, uh, and create something of your own, a thesis that I think is, is meaningful and is really a capstone to any education and to do primary research. And so um, the experience in graduate school, mine was very, very positive. I loved my, my, my years as a graduate student. Um, if you want to become a university or college history professor, you need to go to a good program. And I would say it needs to be a kind of top 20, 25 program uh, for having a, a, a good shot at, um, at a job. And, you know, I think we have wonderful jobs when we get these positions at colleges, universities. Um, it's really one of the best jobs out there, it is. Uh, you know, they say the three best reasons to go into academia, June, July, and August, right? Um, but we have so much freedom to do our own work and you know, follow our bliss and things that, that we're interested in. And we have an opportunity later to recreate ourselves and do different work, different topics and that. But so, so you need to be able to get into a, to a good program and, uh, and to do that, I mean, there's certain things, of course, one can do besides good grade and good GRE scores. Uh, learn about the program, who's there, uh, who you'd want to work with. Um, think about the area where you would want, want to do research. Though in my case, again, I went to grad school thinking I'd do French history and I switched it to German. Um, but, you know, even if you don't go to one of the very top, the top 25 institutions, there's so many things you can do with a PhD. And uh, you can teach at other kinds of institutions, of course. They just won't be the kind of college or university that most people think about and dream. Um, and then there's great careers in everything from journalism to diplomacy, the State Department, to... Um, you know, to the corporate world, and it's it's great training, and will will show uh, future employers certain qualities that that you can work independently, that you can um, you know complete a project in that way. And uh, it's interesting. My cohort um, with whom I went to graduate school, about half of us went into academia. But the people who didn't, um, you know, one is a staff writer for the New Yorker. It's a great job. Uh, another person, uh, well, another person, Andrew Sullivan, became famous, you know, to the New, uh, New Republic and is a blogger and a public intellectual. And, you know, so it was, it was very interesting, these different careers that people you know, created in this way. Uh, I have another dear friend, and he lives in Paris and runs a, a, an institute there. Um, and so, there, you know, I think a PhD will always be something very positive on your CV, on your resume, and you'll always be able to 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 make use of it in, in, in a certain way. Um, and again, history is, in particular, is for me the quintessential liberal arts subject, that it brings together so many different disciplines. Um, I mean, we're rather imperialistic in our outlook, I think, oftentimes, that literature is history, politics is history, art, in my case, is history. Um, it's all, it's, and, and history is great for those of us who have wide-ranging interests in that way. And so, you know, to go into graduate school in history, I'm pretty confident most people can find something they really want to work on. And, uh, and there's a training that will give one a, a broad basis of, if not expertise, at least of knowledge that will be very useful as, as they proceed in careers. So, um, you know, I, I think for people who, who, who love history, graduate school is a great idea, but they just have to be aware of the realities of the job market um, in that way.